He didn't need a lot of luck, just hard work and determination and a little bit of prodding from his father. Buffalo Grove native and former college star Tom McManus was a bartender on Division Street after failing to make it in the NFL. Years later, he found himself back in football and one game away from the Super Bowl. He tells his unlikely story and how his father helped him realize his NFL dream in the book will always be pals, the last words of a dying father and true hero. Joining us now is the book's author and former middle linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tom McManus. Tom, welcome to Chicago tonight and welcome back to your home turf of Chicago. Uh, first of all, your, your story of coming, uh, coming out, seemingly coming out of nowhere and making it into the, into the NFL uh, is a story in itself, but you wanted to dedicate this and make it about your father. How come? Well, I, you know, I, I thought he just lived such an incredible life. You know, I, my original inspiration was after I read Tom Brokaw's Greatest Generation. And my wife and I were expecting our first daughter. I was out of football. My dream was over. And he was the only grandparent not alive, not, not, not living. And, and it, it meant so much to me what he did, our relationship together. I had to tell his story. And you, you alluded to Tom Brokaw's book, uh, The Greatest Generation. Yes. Because one night, kind of out of the blue, you know, when you and your dad were sitting around, uh, he told you the story of his experiences and the war experiences you had not heard about. No, I didn't. You know, youngest of, uh, of, of his six kids, four with my mother, I just, it was almost like taboo to bring it up, you know. It's almost a little scared to bring up his time in the war. And it was late at night one night and just he and I up in uh, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And, and I, I don't know if it was nerve or timing, it was just meant to be. And I, I asked him about his time spent in the war. And when he told me the story, Phil, it was like, it was like I was watching it on this big screen. It was, and then when he, he got done telling me everything, it was so just ins inspirational. You Tom, know? We, uh, obviously, yeah. we don't have time to get into uh, everything that he told you that night. Yeah. But what's the one thing that he told you that, that night that sticks with you? Oh, uh, trekking through the countryside in the worst blizzard conditions in Germany's history at that time. Uh, in 1945, after January of 1945. Because he was a prisoner of war for how many, eight months? Nine 11 months. months. 11 months. 11 months, yeah. Yeah, Adolf Hitler uh, evacuated the camps, and he was in Stalag Luft three and went on a trek. He didn't know where. He was 120 pounds. Guys were dying left and right. And, you know, just that act of survival, that overcoming that he... He lived through was such a tremendous, you know, inspiration for me. You know, there's two stories going on in your book, and it's and it's kind of hard to get to them both because there's that story of your dad's experiences and his impact on you, right? And then there's the story of how you were a college football star, at Boston College. Mm -hmm. You thought you were going to make it to the NFL. <laughs> you and your family watching the draft mm -hmm. on TV, you thinking it's going to be me next. It's going right. to. It wasn't you. What was yeah. that experience like when you were not drafted out well, of BC? You know, it was my first bout of adversity in in the game of football. I mean, I. I'd always made it before and always made a name for myself before so that was that was tough to to overcome but you know I I always believed that I could play and even more importantly my dad always believed that I could play and and when I got my final chance with the Jaguars he was he was there every step of the way and that chance came to you after you've been working yeah. as a bartender in mm -hmm. Chicago for a couple of years yeah uh, if you're working as a bartender you probably watch a lot of sports on TV what was it like to see NFL games knowing in your heart that you could be one of those guys. Yeah, I always worked a double shift at Shenanigans on division, and, and they had all the games up. And I would see guys that I played against, guys that I played with in all-star games. Wait, are, we looking, are we looking at you here? Here in, uh, on the screen, is that you? Yeah, that's, that's me, you. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's in a uh, playoff game that unfortunately we lost. As you can see, Curtis Martin's raising his hands up, signaling touchdown. But... Uh, it was a uh, that's, you, I, that's you over 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 uh, him. Yeah, right. he just gets in on that inch line, and uh, uh, one of the reasons I put it in the book it was it was one of my better hits. Uh, unfortunately, he held onto the ball and and scored a touchdown. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so uh, out of the blue, a former college yeah. coach calls you and says, uh, uh, "We're going to give you a shot down here," mm -hmm. and your dad helped you prepare for the uh, for your for your. Uh, just try out. Really. Yeah, for, for your try out. I was going to yeah. say audition. It's not really yeah. that. But uh, what did your dad do to help you get ready? Well, he's just there every day. You know, we'd go to this old field in New Smyrna Beach and just run. My, my, my hurdle was getting faster. You know, I wasn't the fastest guy out on paper. I could play the game. I was instinctive. But I just didn't have this tremendous speed. I had to work at it, work at it, work at it. And he went to every run and workout with me. And, uh, you know, I, I really think that those, those few months that I worked out and got ready for my, it was an audition, 
uh, I really earned his respect. And if you read his story, you'll realize. And we're looking uh, at a picture of your dad yeah. here. <laughs> what did yeah. it mean to your dad when you finally made the team? It was great. He was the first one I called. I called him collect. I had no money, so I called, <laughs> uh, I called him collect. After he accepted I, the charges. Uh, he did, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I, when I told him I made it, I, I told him we, we made it. We made it together because he was a he was a, a standout football player when they when they folded their helmets up and put them in their back pockets for Rutgers University. So, uh, you know, I, when 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 I got the chance to tell him that we made it together, it was it was, it was everything. And uh, how many games did your dad get to see you play before you got injured? Yeah, well, actually, he got to see me play uh, most of that year, 1995, and then he was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, that's the last, the last words he said to me will, are, will always be pals three days before he passed. So it was that first year in uh, 1995, the inaugural season of the Jaguars, and, and he got to see me make it. My first start was against the Chicago Bears. Is there, how'd you do in that game? I did pretty well, did you? actually, yeah. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> win, but uh, I did all right that game. So. Well, that must have meant so much <clears throat> to your father to be able to see you play that season. It did. You know, and it meant a lot to me because the next year, we went to the AFC Championship game, and I started pretty much that whole game. And all I could think about before, during, and after the game was him and how proud he, he would have been to sit in the stands or watch it on TV and watch that great year. Tom, what do you want people <clears throat> to take away from this book? I want them to be inspired, Phil. You know, it's, <clears throat> it has football in it, it has boxing in it, it has the war in it, but it's really a life story. It's about overcoming, about persevering, love of life, love of family, love of faith. Just all that wrapped into one with a bunch of different life's lessons. So I hope they're inspired. Tom, thanks very much. Uh, screenplays in the works? You know what? We tried the film route first, actually. Had a screenplay written, and, uh, and, and it was a, kind of a, a, a tough track getting that going. And finally I said, you know what? I'm going to write this book, and, and here it is. All right. Tom, thanks so much. Thank you. And again, the name of the book is Will Always Be Pals by former NFL player Tom McManus.